if honestly, if I had it to do all over again, I'm pretty happy with the way my life played out. Um, and there wouldn't be too many things that I would say do overs, but I think one thing that I would have, and I always talk to kids about this and my nieces and anybody who listen to me, uh, about uh, going away to college and having that experience of leaving your life as you knew it, as scary as that might be, and transporting yourself to a completely new experience. And one great way of doing that is going away to college. I didn't do that um, because I was making money. I had a band. I was basically in business. I couldn't leave that. So I chose to go to UCLA and stay in Los Angeles and, um, and do it that way, which was great. You know, but I was really a com uh, more or less a commuter at UCLA, and I was not a music major. I was a mass communications major, and my college experience was not, I, I wouldn't say it was an immersive college experience. It was more kind of there, and on top of that was all the music things, which really was more to my liking at the time. But I'm glad that I went to college and I played gigs all the way through and started to get like little other things because you'd work with some musician on Saturday night but the following week they would have a session that would need a saxophone player so a lot of times people would ask me to do this and do that my network just started to grow and it was the network of the best musicians on the planet because you're in Los Angeles so I just started to feel this this organism kind of growing and it was really fun and there was a, a little recording session here or some guy was playing and um, I remember the first time that I was on uh, national television was on Johnny Carson. I, I taped it, it was with Mac Davis. Mac Davis, the singer songwriter. And one of my friends who I played bar mitzvahs with was in his band and said, there's a, he's on the Tonight Show, there's a sax solo, can you do it? I'm like, uh, yeah. And I was, I remember that, this is the funny thing that you, what you remember from your childhood or for so long ago, I remember that I didn't have any clothes to wear. Like I didn't have any clothes to wear on national television on the Tonight Show. And uh, so I borrowed my, uh, my best friend's boots, which he had these really cool boots. Of course he was a size eight and I was a size nine. So what I remember from my Tonight Show experience was my feet were killing me, but I had good boots, I had good boots. But coming back, from the recording of that, uh, the taping, which is done in the late afternoon, early evening, and being able to watch The Tonight Show with my parents on our television in the den in real time. That was a moment. That was a real special moment for me because I think my parents who were always supportive of my brother and my sister and I following our our dreams and the things that we wanted to do and the things that were important to us. But I think like Jewish parents, they, they wanted us to be successful and they wanted, they never advocated having a plan B or backup, but I think in the back of their minds, they were like, I hope that this is gonna work out for them. But in that moment, it was like so cool because my parents saw the, I mean, you're on the Tonight Show. <laughs> there's Johnny Carson, there's you. It's just, it was a very uh, obvious moment for them to say, this is, this is not something that's just a passing fancy. This might actually work. And um, I remember graduating uh, from college in 1986. Uh, at my graduation ceremony, my parents, uh, again, you know, do you have anything planned here? Is there any, you know, you're graduating, you have no job. <laughs> no prospect of a job. You're playing these weddings and bar mitzvahs on the weekends and probably making more money than, than you would at a normal job. So, okay, granted, but do you have any plan? And I was like, I have no plan, but I made a deal with them the day that I graduated. I said, give me six months to see if I can generate something in the music business. And if I can, great, then we'll be set. And if I can't, then I'll go find some job somewhere. But I need to give it some time just to, to see if this could work. And they were fine with that. And two weeks after I graduated, I got uh, a call that would change my life forever. 